Uh, I believe it's June 1st, 2019. I haven't actually looked at the calendar today. Anyway, uh, did a few ram pump upgrades. Well, really just one. Uh, but a critical one, and I've been planning on doing this for, well, a long time since I put the ram pump in. But I just hadn't gotten around to it. Didn't have the line, didn't have the fittings, etc. Uh, fortunately, the job that I got the tractor and some of those other pieces parts out of last fall also had some uh, half-inch polyline, so I made use of that for this upgrade. So we have uh, two 55-gallon drums in the top of the barn here as one high reservoir for the ram pump. That feeds the valve over here and several valves going down that way. Uh, and there's also a valve that locks out the pool <clears throat> so we can fill the pool directly or we can pull from the pool back into the water system uh, so when we need high volume of water in the summer we can use that uh, but the thing that I didn't have in was a, a way for the overflow from this reservoir to fill the pool without having to dump off the reservoir and that's part of why I put that lockout valve in there if you haven't seen that I'll put a link to that video right in here or in the description and you can check that out that's uh, sort of a remote operated valve but anyway uh, without further ado let me get into it so I basically just ran an overflow from the upper reservoir around the corner here and down and now it overflows directly into the pool so uh, I can keep the reservoir full, pump from it when I need it, and use from it, and not have to switch back and forth. Whereas before I used to have to uh, just switch this valve here that feeds the pool uh, off when I wanted the re upper reservoir to fill. And then uh, when I wanted to be filling the pool again, I have to switch this back on. And it was kind of a pain in the butt not to have the, the high reservoir with the extra pressure in reserve. Uh, so this solves that issue. Um, I tried to get my plumbing to go downhill sloped all the way. It's a little tricky to do with this poly line since it's so flexible. And uh, I didn't want to put a billion brackets up just to do that. Uh, so when I initially put it in, it was, uh, yeah, I'd go to open the valve over on the, uh, over on the pressure side and uh, it would give you a burst of pressure and then it would slow down because it was vacuum locking in here because there were puddles in the, in the, uh, in the line and those puddles were preventing the air from flowing back up the line and replacing the water that was being removed from the reservoir. So to fix that I just put a little T in up top and I guess I'll take you up there and show you that quick. Okay so here we are in the top of the barn that's the overflow line going out, runs along the roof line to the pool. This is the main water line. Uh, this is both input from the ram pump and output to the valving system and all the other output fittings. So that input comes up into here, into the two barrels, two 55 gallon drums. I think I need to blow that one back out a little bit. And then uh, I just had to put this T in here. This breaks the airlock and, uh, and lets air directly in here when we draw demand off of the barrels uh, so that we don't collapse the barrels like that and end up, uh, end up not getting good flow and volume and at the same time also collapsing barrels, which eventually you'll put a kink in the barrel, you'll end up with a pinhole in it, then you'll have a leak, then you have a problem. So that's that. Uh, just another uh, awesome thing you can do with ram pumps. Uh, man, what a useful and awesome tool to have here on the farm. Uh, fresh spring water, about 1,400 gallons a day pumped up continuously. And uh, 110 gallons in reserve up here, 4,400 down in the pool. And I may take the 275 gallon drum that's in the greenhouse for thermal mass and put it out in another spot at a reasonable elevation uh, for over the summer. But we'll see. Anyway, that's it. I hope you found this interesting or informative. If you have any questions or comments, don't be afraid to do so down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to like or subscribe the video. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.